All right, guys, right now I have my DJI Action 5 Pro connected as a webcam in OBS right now via USB. And as you can see, this is how it's connected easy. Just a USB cable going directly into the computer. And again, this can be used with OBS or any other streaming software, including, you know, meeting applications like Zoom, Teams, anything really that can take a webcam. However, if you want to connect multiple cameras, including the Action 5, right? They say right now I have, you can see my cameras here. They say if I wanted to add this as a third camera, I could actually use it with my ATEM Mini that's right here, all right, with an HDMI cable. So instead of using it as a webcam, I will actually use it as an HDMI camera. So I'll go to camera one, which would be my main camera here. And then I'll go to camera two, which is this angle that you're looking at. And then possibly on camera four, would be my Action 5 Pro. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect it using a HDMI cable and this not take my sham, let's get right into it. So first thing we're gonna take a look at, obviously we're gonna need some accessories, okay? So the first thing you need the actual camera, the DJI Action 5 Pro. I mean, I'm assuming you already have it if you're watching this video. Second thing, because this camera only has one USB out, one USB type C port out so you're gonna need this little accessory okay it's basically usb type c to hdmi kind of female okay so this is what it looks like one side is hdmi female and the other side is usb type c so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and connect our adapter so connect into the usb port of the gopro and then the female HDMI is gonna connect to our second accessory, which is an actual HDMI cable. Obviously, you're gonna need an HDMI cable. All right, so now this is a little not that long, but again, you're gonna need a longer HDMI cable depending on where you want to connect it. So now I have both connected. The next thing is depending on how you want to connect it, by the way, if you want to just connect it as a single camera, you could connect it directly into a capture card like this and it's going to be seen as a webcam. But in my opinion, you probably don't want to do that because you could connect directly an actual USB cable into the computer and you will still see it as a webcam. So if you're using HDMI, in my opinion, the best way or the best use case scenario would be adding it to a multi camera production kind of like what i have here I have my atem mini pro with four hdmi camera inputs so i can add it as another hdmi input so let's say i want to add it to camera four here all right so i just connected it into the atem now what's good about it one of the advantages of using hdmi actually even if you wanted to do a single camera i think would be interesting is because with HDMI you have, you can actually do even 4K streaming. So you can get 4K signal out of it. While when you use direct USB, the webcam mode, you get only 1080, all right? You get up to 1080. So when you connect it, I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect it so I can show you the image that actually shows up on screen. When I connect, it's gonna show an image that says, if I wanna do 4K live stream or 1080. So if you have a switcher that can do 4K, you're gonna go ahead, of course, choose 4K. If you have a switcher, like my ATEM can only do 1080, then I'm gonna go ahead and choose 1080. So. I'm gonna do it again so that I can choose 1080 because the message doesn't stay for long. <laughs> All right, so right now, I don't even know what I chose right now. I wish the message could stay longer. Okay, yeah, so right now it's showing 1080. Yeah, good. Oh yeah, so the message shows up, so you wanna make sure you choose either 4K or 1080. And in my case, I just chose 1080 and that's pretty much it. By the way, guys, my name is Sam. You're watching Rap Production Tips and Tools. If you're enjoying this content, please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. Also, consider becoming a member. Get some cool perks and some exclusive content and obviously be able to support my channel. Again, thanks to our members or the people who are members who are actually supporting the channel and getting some cool stuff as well. So I'm going to go ahead and mount the camera in a position where it kind of makes sense. There you go. All right, so I have the camera mounted in front of me. All I gotta do, guys, really, is not much. I'm just gonna show you what I am recording right now because I'm using Streamlabs to record this video. That's where my ATEM Mini is actually connected. So this is my recording. This is why I'm recording this video. 
So if I go, this is camera one, and then I can go to camera two, which is the other camera, and then I can go to camera four, which is our GoPro. So this could be useful if I was doing like a super, super wide angle where I needed to kind of show maybe, you know, a wider field of view of my production studio here, which is really, really cool. All right. So that's how you do it, guys. As you can see again, camera four, camera three, uh, two, camera one, which is my main camera right here. And super exciting, right? Again. And again. Again, if you didn't want to go through the hassle of getting all the accessories and you just wanted something super, super simple, you can simply get the Action 5 to be connected as a webcam directly by using a USB cable. And if you want to know how to do it, you want to make sure you check out this video because I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. All right, guys. So make sure you check it out and I'll see you there. Take care.